Vaccines work. The vast majority of microorganisms are good guys. They make life on this planet possible and we can use them to our own benefit. However, some microorganisms are pathogenic and cause infectious diseases, many of which can be lethal. Infectious diseases are the first cause of death in many low-income countries. Two out of three infants and children younger than five years of age die of an infectious disease. 90% of infectious diseases are due to just six types of infection. The more lethal ones, respiratory infections, diarrheas caused by microorganisms, AIDS, tuberculosis, malaria, and measles. The good news is that most of these deaths could be avoided using vaccines. Despite the benefits afforded by vaccines, a lot of people ignore how they work and some even distrust them. A vaccine makes your immune system believe that you have been infected by a pathogen and sets off all the tools to fight it, even before it comes into contact with you. Therefore, vaccines prepare our defenses beforehand, so that when the pathogen appears, your defense system is rapidly activated and kills it, preventing the development of the disease. Vaccines do not only protect ourselves, but also prevent the propagation of the pathogen throughout the population. That is, they prevent epidemics. If you are not vaccinated, you can put the health of those around you at risk, especially those more vulnerable like infants, the aged and the sick. Vaccination protects the community. The higher the proportion of people vaccinated and protected against an infection, the lower will be the probability of an epidemic. Therefore, the health of others depends in part on whether you are vaccinated. But no vaccine is perfect, 100% effective. Zero risk does not exist in science. Some vaccines are made using pathogens that have been inactivated or killed. Such dead vaccines will never cause the disease. They might triggers some mild symptoms like fever, rash, fatigue or muscle aches. These are not symptoms of the disease, they just mean that your immune system is becoming activated. Other vaccines, known as live attenuated vaccines, are made with live pathogens that have been weakened so that they cannot trigger the disease, but they result in long-lasting activation of the immune system. Serious side effects are possible, but in less than one case every one million people vaccinated. For this reason, vaccines are always safer than the disease against which they protect. There is no effective treatment for some infectious diseases and vaccination is the only option to fight them. Vaccines work. Perhaps the most striking example is smallpox, an infection that for centuries has caused hundreds of millions of deaths. Thanks to vaccination, the last registered case of natural smallpox infection was on the 26th of October 1977. In 1980, the World Health Organization declared the eradication of smallpox, the first and so far the only infectious disease eradicated completely from the planet, all thanks to the vaccine. And hopefully the second disease eradicated from the planet will be poliomyelitis, another infectious disease caused by a virus. Massive vaccination campaigns have achieved that today poliomyelitis is endemic in just three countries, Nigeria, Afghanistan and Pakistan. The number of poliomyelitis cases in 2013 in the whole world was just 372. At that pace, poliomyelitis will be the second infectious disease to be eradicated from the planet, and all thanks to the vaccine. Diphtheria, rubella, tetanus, chickenpox, rabies, hepatitis, flu, measles, yellow fever, anthrax, cholera, plague, typhus, papilloma, herpes, rotavirus, more than 25 infectious diseases for which a vaccine is available. Some of them have been cut by 90% thanks to vaccination. Vaccines save millions of lives, they are the best and sometimes the only way to fight microbes.